All right, second segment of the day. Um, it's going to be orchestrate and schedule, and uh, the agenda looks as follows. So first, Holger will kick us off with a simple container orchestration overview um, using Swarm uh, as an example, so the very basic one. Then um, Eduardo will talk about orchestration with Kubernetes, so how does it differ from the simple um, um, example. And he will also then touch on the extras like operators and schedulers uh, and the more maybe a little bit also HPC specific projects. Afterwards, we will move up a little bit in the orchestration stack and talk about workflow orchestration with Nextflow. So Paolo will give us uh, an example of how genomics use containers and uh, workflow orchestration to, to, to run the show. And at the fourth lightning talk, Bill will talk about workflow schedulers that are out there as well, like other workflow schedulers like Argo Airflow and how they um, make life easier and also more confusing, <laughs> I think. Um, but yeah, hopefully we will get a, a gist out of it. And during the live panel, we will then discuss all of the above. And this is going to be an interesting one that's going to be a fun one, but it's going to go from simple to more complex. So make sure that you ask uh, all the questions you have in the HPCW20 channel at the HPC containers um, community Slack. The tenants are, the tenants are uh, we want try to not focus on the runtime, and I think we can achieve that. Um, and not that we don't deep dive too deep into the HPC specific tech. Of course, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, also part of the discussion, but um, we have an HPC specific segment tomorrow, so I don't want to spend too much time on this. That's for tomorrow. Um, Missing in action, I mean, some said that traditional HPC schedulers might be missing. I think that we could have covered this as well, and we might during the panel discussion, but uh, I think traditional HPC schedulers, they currently don't really care about whether it's a normal process or a containerized process, so I think there's no, not super much value in discussing this on this uh, workshop, but that's to be discussed, and we can discuss it in the live panel as well. Um, I think what's also missing uh, maybe for next time is that we discuss how we share execution parameters and container names, which comes to findability from the last segment yesterday, but how do we make sure that no matter where we run things, which workflow or which task executor we use, that they share the same, that they, they actually run the same uh, container with the same parameters so that it's reproducible. I think that's something that we should, should discuss next time. You should look out for who is in charge of what. That's something that I like to understand first when we talk about orchestrators. You can run Kubernetes and Slurm. You can learn Slurm and Kubernetes. And so it's kind of an uh, inception way of uh, thinking here. But uh, yeah, that's something that you need to understand. Uh, and you need to understand the limitations. And also uh, try to get you wrap your head around what is task execution and workflow supervision. So for a simple container orchestration, there's no workflow supervision part there's more like task execution and if the task is is kicked then the task will be scheduled somewhere else but if you move up the stack with workflow then um, most of the workflow tools or some of them at least they just do the workflow supervision by themselves and hand off task execution to someone else so like, try to get this straight and ask questions during the live panel uh, if you if you if you don't understand something or if you have questions, so again, feel free to dump everything in the HPCW20 Slack channel in the HPC Containers Community Slack. That's where we are going to get our questions from during the live panel. All right, I will roll the videos, 45 minutes maybe, and then we will have the panel discussion. So enjoy.